All right, everyone, welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077. This first part of the series went up today, so very excited about that. I'm gonna adjust my volume setting just a bit more, just for the sake of that. That's all good. That's back on. Thankfully, uh, Nvidia came out with a uh, new driver update today, so able to run this a little bit more properly now and maybe it won't have as many hiccups as last time great to have you back so then did you all hear about that arasaka aircraft carrier docked in night city called kujira or the whale apparently the corp figured it wasn't safe in japanese waters afraid some local fishermen might harpoon it for scientific research but honestly it's quite the power move wonder what militech will respond with Maybe Myers will fly a rust bucket B-17 Flying Fortress over Arasaka HQ. Let's see as everything gets right back in. Perfect. All right. So we are back in it. Looks like we might have some potentially other items in here. I don't think so, but... Ooh. That would definitely take that. Those two look very nice. Can't see it underneath the jacket, but you know, still cool. Put that back on. Did I have different hats? Nope. Anything different with the shorts? No. Steel toes? Nope. And everything else was good. Yep, so we had just gotten to the apartment. I had just checked out some of the uh, stuff they had in the item stash. And we're gonna get some rest. something when I jagged into that corpo's biomon. You know, uh, neurovirus or need to see Vic. Let him tell me what's got my head reeling, my stomach churning. Okay, let me take you. I brought you a ride. Throw on some threads, meet me downstairs. Well first off, I'm gonna need a shower. It's the morning, come on. Perfect. Look in the mirror. Let's see if it... Whoa, where's my hair? Well, I'll take being bald, but what the... Maybe it's because I'm wearing a hat. <laughs> Maybe not. Take some of that. Okay. Let's head over to the weapon stash. Don't think we have anything to pick up here. Besides the two pistols we put in there. Fortunately, not much else. <laughs> We've only just begun. Come on, people. And then should have everything out of the stash there. So let's go on out. Oh, this is open now. Whoa! Load in. Hey V, Regina Jones here. If you're looking for work in Watson, give me a call. How'd you find me? How'd you even know my name? I know where to gather my intel. Could even call me a collector. Later, V. Wait, now I'm just curious. Okay. There we go. So, main job, side quests. And these are gonna start building up because it's a CD Projekt Red game and we know this. You 
to do that, dude. I didn't want to kill you, but... You, uh... Forced my hand. What an awful place! Thank you! You're welcome. You have nothing better to do? What the... Don't give me that! I just saved your life! Come on. I just want to put away my weapon. How do I do that? <laughs> Controls. They're my key bindings. <laughs> Good lord. Brain dance. <laughs> Fists melee four. That's as good as putting away weapons. Well, found some money. I stopped a domestic abuse case. Granted, the dude's dead now. Nobody's gonna care. So. I was gonna move on. Uh. You're, you're okay, people. I'm not shooting anymore. Uh, anything I can sell? Oh, he did have a slightly better gun than mine. Hmm. I can sell these boots, though. Uh, anything else I can sell? Random things. That's all the random junk. And there we go. I'll take a little bit of cash. NCPD! Open up! We got a call! We're here to help! We know you're in there! What's up, folks? Sorry. Don't forget your worth. I'll go away from the kid. What the? What? Why? Uh. Okay. <laughs> Piece of shit! Come on! Well, good morning to you. This is pointless. You mean 14 a day? Worst thing is about this place. Everything sucks. The fucking smell. Sweet, it is not. Shum, you could boil shit in piss and it still smells better than this fucking dog. Man, people have things to say in this place. Serious? What the? I have my hands out, I'm not doing anything wrong. I stopped a man from. Okay. How about a round or two? What do you say? How you like my new punching bag? This gave me a next gen ass whooping. He did. Be curious to see how he handles the likes of me. <laughs> so, how about it? Let's do this. Yeah, let's do it. Light on your feet. Keep that head moving. Oh. Oh, Coach Fred's got the good stuff. Oh, dang. Uh, let's see. White knuckles, some source mods. Cold shoulders, got some good knives. Nothing better than my katana, though. Something about fighting. Mm. 
I've seen you land in blows in the rain. You've got sharp instinct, good edge. You can go far, especially if you get chipped. These fights, let's just say they aren't legal, but very lucrative. Yeah, lucrative for who? You or me? Both of us. I get a small percentage of the total winnings, you know, as your agent. You get the rest. Sounds fair. It's like I said. Good instinct. Fights happen in different parts of the city. You choose where you want to go. Put down your eddies and start swinging. You win, you take home the pot. Manage to drop every last one of them, you get a chance to fight in the grand finale. That all clear? Crystal. Good. Oh, except you won't be setting foot outside or Watson. Not yet. You can start it with the booty. I believe in you, V. Time to show this city what you're made of. Sweet. Remember, yep. first rule about Fight Club, you don't talk about Fight Club. No. No way. Sorry. I, I can't. I, 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 no. I will leave you gentlemen alone. I'd also make a beach. Sweet little boy Mark's waiting for its daddy. Hers after every shot now. Let's have a look. What's Eddie got? More Second Amendment. I hope he's got a pretty nice pistol. Got all the nice bits of ammo that you would want. Hmm. Iconic, I guess that means. Legendary in a sense. Or that's legendary, so I guess Iconic is just a unique weapon, or just like it is as a name like that. Hmm. Well. I will also come back for that. Oh, I actually have to come to you. Let's have a look. Wait, so which one's my gun? Or do I just choose one? Because if that's the case, I'll take this one. Oh, I don't have enough money. No, I don't. No, I do not. Jeez. Uh, I'll sell what junk I have. In that case, we can go for the... Oh, my pistol is dying night. Okay, so you've just received an iconic item along with a set of crafting specs. You can use these to craft better quality weapons or items. When the new version of iconic item is crafted, the original item is destroyed. Iconic items can also be upgraded like regular weapons or pieces of clothing. Upgrading improves their level of stats. <laughs> Let's excuse the yawn. Ensuring they remain useful as you progress through the game. Thanks a lot. Cool. Okay. So in that case, so then I go into inventory... Switch it for Dying Knight, then, ah, so there's mods and everything you can put there if you have them. Don't want to have anything there, keep the katana. Okay. Sweet, I have that back. Now put it away. People get freaked out when you have your gun out. Got another drive, sun filled week coming your way, night city. I haven't so done anything. Have Stop it. There's a cold front moving in. Prepare for cooler conditions as we head into the weekend. And slide. <laughs> and 54. It's time for your local news. Violence can 
continues to plague the Badlands. And on the entrance, let's check up on the news. Hello, it's time for your local news. The Aratama Matsuri Festival is nearly upon us. To mark the event, the streets of Night City will come alive with exquisite multi-story dashi floats. The festival program will also include musical performances by BWR virtuosos and theatrical performances in the No tradition. The sponsor for the festival is the Arasaka Corporation. And in an exciting development, even Hanako Arasaka has announced her participation in the Dashi Parade. From all of us at WNS News, we wish you a safe and fun Matsuri. So, were we going to talk about yesterday? It's all in the report. Oh, I read it. Except there's no mention of me telling you to delta the fuck out of there. Yeah. No biggie. Not like that cyber psycho was a tank on two chrome legs. What the fuck are you thinking? There's a reason that this attack existed. Oh. Alright, so it looks like some icons for the map. Scanner hustles, the NCPD will pay you to help fight crime. Fixers, intermediaries will inform you about local gigs and gigs. Fixers will contact you when you approach a gig's location. Cool. Welcome to the city of gunk dreams. Yeah. Man of the hour. Man. <laughs> Took you long enough. Hold up, hold up. How do I get to photo mode? <laughs> Open photo mode N. An appetite. Boom. Let's see. Camera type, first person perspective, right there. There we go. Just wait. Sit down, let me finish this. Then we can drop in on Senor Vector. This is something about a surprise. Yes. Am I remembering right or just had a brief? Probably both, because you usually forget shit. But it just so happens, I think I might have bagged us a sweet ass J-O-B. Go on. I mean, maybe it's not as big as that, but just that it's fronted by a little known someone named Dexter Deshaun. Only the top fixer in night fucking city. Fat ass black Jesus of the afterlife. 300 pounds of partly gold plated coup. How'd you manage to pull this? Trading your spleen or something? As far as I know, we're not the type to get fingered by Dex. You know me? Oh, but T Buck, she's the one that hooked us up, got us talking. Knew it was a done deal the moment he laid eyes on me. Cause come on, ain't nobody who can resist this. Am I right? <laughs> sure, Jack. Whatever you say. Dex to Deshaun? What's the latest spec on him? I know you got info to spill. He's been off the grid for about two years. Word on the street was, took a little vacay. Two years? That's exile, not a vacation. What was he up to? Uh, guessing he shoved pizzas in his mouth while jerking off to hardcore virtues. The important thing is, he's back. It's a fresh crew, and he found us. So what's the gig? We meant to come out in one piece? Our Lord and Savior wants to tell you everything himself, face to face. Oh, no pressure, but uh, this whole deal, he's riding on you now, is he? Why do I gotta go? You and T-Bug draw straws without me? T-Bug and Dex go way back, and my face is yesterday's news. Oh, Dex says he needs to check you, talk to you. Look, V, it's his job, his rules. I can't blame him for taking a personal approach. And it ain't as bad as you think, okay? Trust me. Guess I got no choice then. Dex is a real deal when it comes to fixers. Don't get me wrong, man. Don't got nothing against the Padre or Wakako, but Dex is a of his own, man. You know what I'm saying? Don't get me started on fixers. They catch a client, find the cheapest gong to do the job, then drop their corpse at a landfill. Shit, hit the nail on the head, V. Gracias, Dios. Oye, 
Bueno. Brought your wheels. Gave them to my guy yesterday to smooth over the dents. Uh, dust off the scabs. Thanks, Jack. Much appreciated. Oh, dang, I can call vehicles. Some top-notch work Miguel did. Rides like it looks. Factory new. We'll see about that. So we rolling or what? Let's feel this factory new ride. What the? Okay. Don't tell me that. Oh. First stop, Ripper Dock. At Holmes, easy on the gas, huh? I just ate. I was supposed to stop by Vic's anyhow. I got a date. The end Miss D. Don't say. She's so sweet. Really gets me, you know. Alright, we're gonna try and follow the rules of the road. At least to an extent. We can't be calling too much to attention to ourselves now already. Once fixed on dust in your circuits. We'll hash out what Dex has cooked up for us. Man, what a we get it together. Populated city. This is awesome. I need a drink. You are not the masters of your memories. For your eyes do not belong to you, or rather. What are you? To you. Checking them out? Do you truly believe that those who have sold you your mechanical eyes have resisted the temptation to peek through them? Cameras are all around us, even within us. Your joys, your worries, your life. Yeah, if anyone was watching and giving a damn, I'd have half the city's underworld and half its corpse on my ass already. And if you are their pawn, unknowingly carrying out their secret agendas. But who are those who follow our every step, you yeah, ask? Gary. <laughs> Why, the titans of entertainment in Alpha Centauri! In their wretchedness, they placate their weary and oppressed masses by Maybe. putting our laughter out tears! Dr. Vector, we'll see you now. Look, I'll sit tight over here. Me and Misty got a little catch up to do. Because I am. Open your Wait. mind! Yo, oh, Gary, you're a little loud. But we got a new job lined up. Jessica, will I die? Oh, this is gonna be dangerous. Don't you worry. Uh, you, you, you okay, can't do nothing to me. Wait, where's the cat? No, you're not cat. There's the cat. Pet the cat. Oh, it's a Sphinx. Good kitty. Yep. Hmm. I'm loving the detail in the city. Man. And the verticality is insane. Through a common, or though a common practice, cyberware installation is still a dangerous and invasive procedure that can only be performed by qualified specialists. Ripper docs. There are several throughout Night City who offer a variety of different upgrades. Vicky, surprise every old Ripper. It's good to see you. Good to see you too, V. Oh wow. To what do I owe the pleasure today? Last gig. Had to jack into a client's neuro socket. Think I might have gotten spiked. Experiencing migraines, nausea, hypersensitivity to bright lights. Old kit and caboodle. All right, kit. We'll sort you out in a flash. Besides that, how are things? Met a new fixer. He gave me a job. Name's Dexter Deshaun. Known quantity from the afterlife. No denying you're moving up. But 
Something you're not telling me, Vic? Keep your guard up, that's all. I've heard some things about Dex. He's not as chill as he makes himself out to be. Need some new kit, but tools, not toys, Vic. Time I bumped up my sights and got a grip. <laughs> really? Now? Finally? Vic, shit's getting real. Got a job from Dex to Sean, hitting the major leagues. Need tech that can perform. The Dexter Deshaun? <laughs> well, that is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. Quit crying, Vic. I'll bring you the Eddies later, with interest. You know I will. Hmm. Last time. You hear? I don't know exactly how much money I have, but... I didn't have enough to pay him. Chair, please. Sit down and relax. Let's do this. Kuroshi Optics. Best I've got, and should be about right under the circumstances. Now check in. Kuroshi? Whoa. Vic, nothing tops that on the market. Hmm. Sounds like it could come in handy then. I gave you my word I'd pay you back, but this might be too rich for my blood. We'll work something out. Right now, I'm just out to make sure you get back in one piece. Eddie's in hand. You peruse and choose while I scan. Let's see what's going on inside. Cybernetic implants are mechanical replacements for the organic parts of your body. They can give you superhuman-like abilities, which can improve your combat capability and help you survive in hazardous conditions. Although it was a common practice in 2077, the installation of cyborg is still an invasive and sometimes dangerous medical procedure. Alright, so we're going to be doing hands and ocular systems, it looks like. We'll definitely take that, because we kind of have to, I guess. And... I mean, it looks like there are multiple things are available, but we got to be able to afford it. And hands. So what other kind of things are available? Circulatory system. Breach time of breach protocol. Yeah, that's cool. Releasing little Novas. I think I could change my OS. Don't know what that does actually, but... Oh, that's uh, RAM and for hacking. Okay. Skeleton. Okay, just be able to carry more. Arms. Dang. That's just, you know, if you're going to be just punching through everything. Charged and double jumps. Cool. Okay, this is pretty awesome. Man, can't wait until I can actually afford some of this. Mark 1, like I said. Decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. Cherry on the top's a built-in external lens disruptor. In layman's terms, any surveillance cam will capture your face as a blur. But just remember, your body will still show up as crystal clear. Hmm. This should do the trick. Talks to Kuroshi Tech, too. I'm ready. Carve away. Excellent. Let's do this. Hit me, Doc. Lay that major league arm of yours right here. Just like that. Thanks. Now, a bit of anesthetic and I can start cutting. Feel anything? Play by play, though. Really, Doc? Makes it sound like a dentist. Always going on and on. Don't be mean now. Remember, I'm old. I got a shaky Gannick hand. Could slip. Lights out for a minute, all right? Well, that was Dead Space 2 forms of terrifying. Okay. 
Okay, let's test this. See the magic in action. Linking you in. You might feel a little discomfort at first. Blurred vision, low contrast, glitches. How's it look? Feel all right to you? Oh, this is fantastic, Vic. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Yeah, scanning people with your output of cold cyberware can provide you a lot of useful information. So we've been able to see that already. Time for the scanner. It might take you a few seconds to adjust, but first time's rarely the charm. <laughs> with anything, really. Scanner should eventually sync with your thought processes and read your intentions. There we go. I also inject an NCPD file search. Run into any ne'er do wells? <laughs> you know exactly what they ne'er did well. Oh, so like watchdogs. But with bounties, okay. It auto worked like a job. Whoa, that's really cool in the hand. Now draw your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new sight. How about the neurovirus from the last job? Can you check it? Done and gone while we were putting in your implant. And a full sweep on your soft and circuits. Zap the critter. You're certified bug free. Shit, Victor, not bad. I don't know what to say. Say you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now, and another two in an hour. Thanks again, Vic. You're the best. I owe you. <laughs> Go on, kid. Show them what you're made of. And once you hit the big leagues, don't forget where you came from. Yo, Jackie, don't be pushing. Come on, punch him. Who's winning? Hernandez. You know, in the old days, that cripple Malone would have been flat on the boards. Now every last fighter's got extra skull lining. Absorb 75% of every blow. Got cash riding on this? Nah, just looking. <laughs> it's out of habit more than anything else. Miss it, don't you? Ah. Uh... I still don't have the 21,000. I barely got 2,000. How's biz going? Uh, can't complain. Corporals learned to keep their distance, and Sokka's back hiring lone mercs. They all gotta have the newest, shiniest implants. Good thing you got Misty here to help. Handles your griping well. Yeah, renting out her shop's the best decision I ever made. You know what? Seems like you're the only person in Night City who's happy with this lot. You get to a certain age, you drop all your illusions. Life just gets easier from there. See you, Victor. Yeah, looked like it soft locked a little bit weirdly. Your heart chakra looks a little out of whack, babe. I can release it for you, but you'd have to watch out for negative energy fields and avoid mean reds. Anything red. V, yo, listen up. I talked to Dex while you were in with the doc. He's waiting in his ride for you. Ain't but a hop to where he's parked next to Gramsci Burgers. Okay, do my best to talk us up. But what they don't know, the real thing they call cyberspace is actually pandemonium! V, listen, I've got this delicate matter. That's why I called you. The number of cyber psycho attacks in this city is on the rise. Now, that's probably not news to you, but this issue matters to me for a few reasons. There are people who say cyber psychosis can be treated. Right. And I know exactly how that sounds. But I believe even an unproven therapy is still better than a bullet to the brain. 
If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll give you a call. Maybe you can investigate for a mass attack against the city. But remember, you're not there to execute anybody. Try to incapacitate the attacker, and I'll send someone to pick him up. I hope that's all clear. Well, yes, there are many various ways to incapacitate an enemy without having to kill them. But it's this game, come on. Yep, yep. Oh, can't say that I tried. Welcome, officer. Don't mind me as I loot all of this. Oh, you're, uh, you're not doing too well. Well. Cool. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> so what I get? Let's see. One, why did I take off the jacket? And now it takes a little, little more of this. And again, I keep on unequipping this, this shotgun. So, let's go. 65.2, 67.1. Let's go with that. Got a scope. As for that, nothing there. Perfect. Okay, don't take the weapon. Ow, Jesus. Okay, put it away. 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 Jeez. Mr. V, a pleasure. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> Let's roll. Mind if I ask you something right off the bangle? Would you rather live in peace as Mr. Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory, smelling near like posies, without seeing your 30th? You're either somebody, or you fizzle out into nothing. Night City don't let you choose. Oh, but it does. See, in my line of work, I choose to be Mr. Chill. But folk who try to take advantage, well, they see the beast inside. All right, listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scab home. Hang on. I got a question of my own now. Why all this, Dex? Why me? Could have had Jackie or T-Buck sitting here. Could have just done this on comms. Call me old-fashioned, but I like to look anyone I do biz with in the eye. Had the pleasure of meeting the Jackster in the past, and sweet T-Bug helped this brother out two years ago. So here we are. Besides all that, got a special little pre-mission just for you. But we'll get to that. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech. A biochip to be precise. Job's to grab it. Simple. Yeah. <laughs> Guessing it belongs to a corp. Mm-hmm. Arasaka. Surely that's no problem. 
Corpse don't deserve special treatment. Shit, <laughs> you ain't playing around. Got a feeling this could be a start of a beautiful friendship built on heaps of enemies. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolve in that. Second, a rendezvous. Simple. Client who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. Clients. Client, what's her thing? Why she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. End of convo. <laughs> anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, who'll be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leaves you. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shard. I've got a classic tale for you. Psycho Gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a Militech convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see, Convoy was carrying the Flathead, a little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high-grade military tech. Because if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single-use toy. Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. The problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say when, because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gangmate, one Simon Randall, AKA Royce, plain dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this shipstrom, one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Who's the prima donna? Corpo agent, internal affairs. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip tied in her trunk. Stick up her ass ain't growing any shorter. So she must be getting desperate. Be wise to think how you could use that. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Sending it now. I think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. One more thing, Mr. B. Quiet life or a blaze of glory? Hmm? Later now. Nice, love it up. Jackster, talk to Dex. <laughs> yeah, Gordito's a big deal. Literally a nine, man. Guy certainly knows how to protect his biz. Wants to put us on a few small kinks. Prep work, I guess. Before lining us up a big job. Okay, let's level some stuff up. Uh, let's go. Let's go for body. Or intelligence, sorry. And let's see what we have in here. Okay, what do we got in body? That right there? I would take health regeneration. No doubt about it. There's this combat bot, military prototype. Maelstrom clept it. 
then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the Gangoons had a switch up in management. Right, right, heard about that. Royce versus Brick. Hostile takeover. That sums it up. Dex wants his talking to Royce. Gave the deets of some Militech agent, too, but... I don't know how much help she stands to be. Huh. <laughs> And there's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table. Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. He must know what he's doing. So, how you wanna play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? Parker. I think I ought to see her first. See what she's like, what she's after. Orale. In that case, I'll hit the all foods. Put my nose to the ground. Step around. Hasta luego. Oh, dang. We got a Shenmue kind of system in here. Good at Lizzie's bar between 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. Dang. Lot of jobs. Sheesh. Yeah, she read that tea. like there. Okay, I can skip time if I need to. Cool. Alright. What's up? Bye. Uh, let's see. Getting pretty close to time over here. Yeah, because that's just fast travel. So, gonna save this, and then there we go. And that will be where the part leaves off. So, thank you all for watching. Greatly appreciate it. Stay tuned for more content for Cyberpunk 2077. And uh, once again, uh, thank you all for watching. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button down below and hit the bell to stay tuned for more content. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Take it easy, everyone.